Monster Rise is a game that proudly wears its inspirations on its shoulders. From weapon design down to the food, it is obvious that the Monster Hunter Portable team felt their pickle tickled for Japan again. Of course, the major focus of Monster Hunter are the monsters, and this game brings in a bunch of new monsters with interesting origins in Japanese yokai, which are basically mythological Japanese beings ranging from the benevolent to the malevolent. In this series of videos, I dig around and tell you the origins of these new monsters, from their animal inspirations to their yokai counterparts. So grab a snack and let's explore the hunter notes. The Agnosum acts as the first bigger monster the player faces in Monster Hunter Rise. Agnosum is meant to prepare you for the flying monsters, as well as monsters that have stronger attacks. I could not find any name origins for Agnosum, so hopefully somebody can tell everyone in the comments. Its Hunter Notes entry reads, Tending to stand on one leg, this monster somewhat resembles an umbrella. The Agnosum is highly territorial. It will spread out its wings and show off its characteristic comb to scare off threats. It also bears flammable venom that burns fiercely and lingers on the ground when lit. Draw the beast to water for an easier fight. The key word here is umbrella. This will come into play for one of its yokai origins. Before getting into the yokai, let's talk about the animal. The agnosum is based off of the crane. The crane is a tall bird known for its beauty and almost regal stance. The characteristic that the agnosum borrows from the crane is the tendency to stand on one leg. There is another reason for this, but it is in part due to its animal counterpart. Another feature the Agnosum has is its crest. The description states that it likes to show off this bright red crest to ward off intruders to its turf. This is a tactic often seen in the animal world, such as butterflies. The idea here is to make the animals appear larger than they actually are, which is supposed to scare away predators. Supposed to. Like cranes, the Agnosum likes to spread its wings wide. This can be taken as to once again scare off opponents, but it also uses these wings for sweeping attacks and for its silly charge attack. That just about ends it for the animal counterpart. What about the yokai? Or in this case, yokais. As mentioned earlier, and even in its icon, the Agnosum resembles an umbrella. Based off of this fact, we can see that it is based off of the Karakaza Kozo, the Karakaza Kozo is a Tsukumogami, which is an object inhabited by a spirit. These demon umbrellas have one eye and hop around on one leg. The Ignosum's crest certainly has a part that looks like an eye in the middle. They are mischievous, only licking the face of a human with its long tongue to mess with them. While the Ignosum does not have a long tongue, it does have a red crest that it will use to attack the hunter. This attack is definitely inspired off of the harassment of the Karakaza Kozo causes. For some of its attacks, it also floats into the sky like an umbrella, spitting fire as it does so. There is another inspiration for the Agnosum, specifically where it gets its fiery traits from. The answer is the Basan. The Basan is basically a tall chicken that breathes fire. This could also be where the Agnosum gets its red crest from, serving to look like an eye, tongue, and chicken head dingle. Agnosum is a wacky bird with quite a bit of character. It plays hopscotch during real gamer hours, not really caring for anything else. I suggest you leave this playful bird alone. Unless you want some pre-roasted bird for dinner, really. It's an easy monster. <laughs> 